just a few days after Elon Musk's moon tweet, NASA officially announced the selection of SpaceX for continuing the development of first commercial human lander system as part of Artemis mission for humanity's return to moon by 2024. SpaceX was competing with two American companies, including Dynetics and a national team led by Blue Origin for the contract of first commercial lunar landing system. We'll talk more about it in a second. But first, your support by subscribing to the channel will be very much appreciated for the growth of our scientific community. As mentioned earlier, there was the race for building first operational human landing system, or HLS, between Dynetics and Blue Origin in partnership with Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Draper. But the contract worth of $2.89 billion is won by SpaceX Starship. The announcement was made earlier today by Kathy Luters, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Exploration and Lisa Watson, the Program Manager for HLS. Now, SpaceX will be developing the HLS element which will be attached to the Gateway Outpost, orbiting around the Moon. The astronauts will be carried to the Gateway Station by NASA's Orion spacecraft using the SLS rocket, which, after docking with Gateway, will transfer the astronauts to the Starship Lander. Then the Starship Lander will be carrying two American astronauts to the lunar surface. Yes, this is incredible in many ways, but this time, it'll make another history by launching at least one of these astronauts as the first woman on the surface of the moon. SpaceX SLS Starship is designed to land on the moon and it leans on companies tested Raptor engines and flight heritage of Falcon and Dragon vehicles. Starship Lander includes a spacious cabin and two airlocks for astronaut moonwalks. The Starship architecture is intended to evolve into a fully reusable launch and landing system designed for travel to the moon Mars, and other destination. SpaceX is already testing the Starship prototype very aggressively, the most recent one being SN15. But this award will be another addition to the SpaceX motivation for sending Starship to Earth's orbit by end of this year. Elon Musk have already confirmed that Starship SN20 and its following iterations will be orbit capable. And now, it looks like just a matter of some time that we can have a Starship supplying cargo to Moon and then actually landing the astronauts to its surface. This is very big news for SpaceX and space enthusiasts from all around the world. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such exciting news. Also, tell us what are your thoughts in the comment section. With this, signing off for now. See you in the next one.